It's the Million Dollar Organizer Show, tips for professional union organizers. Win more campaigns, balance work and family, and leave the competition in the dust. Now here's your host, Bob Odie. Hello, union organizers, and welcome to episode number 20. This week, I was honored with a Book Excellence Award for the Million Dollar Organizer, 365 Tips for Professional Union Organizers. And if you'd like to check out a picture, I've posted one on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Union Organizer. Here in California, our governor has issued a stay-at-home order. So we've been on lockdown now for about a week. You may be under the same situation, and if so, I hope you take care of your family, keep them close, listen to the authorities, because we want to dodge this bullet. Let's not get ourselves sick. Practice social distancing. This week I updated my blog which is at themilliondollarorganizer.com. And if you get a chance, you might go there and check it out. Some of the updates I put on there this week, I posted about the National Labor Relations Board postponing elections. That's going to affect a lot of organizers out there, so you need to know about this. NLRB has postponed elections, probably just for a few weeks, but until that time, it gives an advantage to the employers. Now, at the same time, PERB... The Public Employment Relations Board is still holding elections. So they're going forward. They're working from home. You can't go in there in person because the offices are closed if you want to file, but you can do it online or by fax or by U.S. mail. So you can still file petitions, and they're still doing elections at PERB. Other happenings this week, my book, Bigger Labor, a crash course for construction union organizers, is finally available on Audible and Amazon as an audiobook. So if you'd like to listen to books while you drive, which I always recommend, you might want to check that out. Previously available on my website at Union Organizer, but my website's down at the moment because I'm working on it, trying to update it, and that'll be back up soon. Now this week, I've got some tips for working from home because I'm guessing that a lot of you are also on lockdown like myself. You're probably working from home. And I've got some experience in that because I've been working from home for eight years now, although I do a lot of windshield time driving around Southern California. I cover a large area, but I do work from home and I've got some tips for you. Now, one thing I want to recommend right off the bat is that you start your day out by stretching because if you're sitting down for long periods of time, you can really jack your back up and your wrists. So you got to be real careful. Make sure you stretch in the morning. I don't recommend having a TV in the room where you're working because you want to avoid as many distractions as you can. Also, it's a great idea to follow a regular schedule. Get up on the, at the same time every morning and then try to go to bed around the same time each evening. If you follow a schedule and you pace yourself, that's the other thing. You are going to want to make sure that you pace yourself because if you're working from home, it's very easy to kind of fall into this thing where you're always working. That's why it's great to have a schedule and pace yourself. This last week, I had an opportunity to incorporate Zoom video conferencing. I attended my Toastmasters meeting, which is a regular weekly meeting, and I attended some business meetings with Zoom video. No wonder their stock is going up right now while everybody else's is dropping. So I recommend Zoom video conferencing if you can get a chance to do that. This is a great time, by the way, to clear out old files, also to delete emails. Clear out your inbox. You'll be more productive when you do. Reconnect with past contacts and candidates. Ask them, are they still working at the same company? And how are they being affected right now? Let them know that you care. Some of you may feel a little bit isolated during this time, but you're not alone. We're all in this together. I want to wish you and your family a safe, productive week. Thanks for listening. We hope that you'll subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts or anywhere you listen to podcasts. Give us a five-star review and let us know what you'd like to hear the Million Dollar Organizer talk about. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Union Organizer. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.